Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We're doing a new live stream today. Let's go ahead and transition this over and we're going to be playing as Mexico today. Yeah, sat in the new school, school shooting, I was actually about to just go over to go over the news. Um, so basically, there was actually a school shooting in... I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm just like, okay, wait, doesn't didn't YouTube change its mind? Well, actually, it's not talking about the controversial topics in the first couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, there was a um, a incident at a school in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, a girl with multiple guns walked into a school. Let me see, it was a, it sounded like a uh, religious school. Private Christian Elementary School. Oh my god, an elementary, god damn. She was in her teens. Was killed during gunfire with police. Her identity and motive is yet to be confirmed. A student reunification has been set up at Woodmont Baptist Church. So, yeah, this is, I think this is the first time, I mean, and this is the first time in a while that we've heard about a woman uh, doing a, one of these shootings. So there was that, and that one, that story is just now happening and still developing. Female shooter who was possibly a teen fatally shot by officers. Um, in Israel... Israel, there were 700,000 people that were supposedly protesting against the judicial reform in Israel. Essentially, they're trying to reform the justice system in which that the government would have more power over over the, uh, the establishment. And if you're going over the... Uh, uh, the giving the gover the Israeli government more power over judicial appointments and essentially everyone lost their minds over it and they uh, went to the streets and protested. There was massive, there was like labor strikes, there was all these different kinds of people that were coming out and protesting against the, the judicial reform. Yeah, 700,000 people out of 9 million. That's a lot of people, yeah. Which is interesting, because I do remember whenever Israel had a 7 million population. I really hate talking about these depressing topics with, like, smooth jazz in the background. I really need to find, like, new copyrighted, non-copyrighted material. There's actually a really interesting feature on YouTube now in which, like, uh, that I can now buy licenses of... I can buy the license of music from... from creators themselves. And it's like an audio library. It's like, it's like YouTube's audio library, basically, where they had, like, a lot of, like, really weird... Um, a lot of like really weird music, honestly, it just wasn't that good. And so they finally came back and were just like, Hey, yeah, like here's, here's like actual music, um, from actual creators. And I think that's an amazing addition to YouTube and like, I can directly pay for it. Um, some of it's free and then I have like. So I can go to you, go to it. It says like the expiration doesn't expire, um, and it even lets you download it. Like, and it says may make your video, and it'll tell you like what the monetization options are for this. And so like they can use it for two years. Like the one uh, recent World Warfare, World Warfare and Economic video that I made basically was a. Uh, um, I used one of those, and basically that license lasts for, like, two years. And I think that's an amazing addition for YouTube. Like, that really, really helps me out, especially in terms of finding music for videos. 
<laughs> buys music license, gets copyright struck anyway. Can you imagine? We're gonna nationalize that nuclear industry. Um, someone asked what the goal is for this. Is basically we want to get rid of the Mexican drug cartels as well as the Mexican Indian Alliance. This is going to be a big goal today. Um, as well, we are going to try to increase funding to our secret services as well as getting more agents into the national territory, as well as if we go over to population, we can see that GDP per capita is only $10,000 and that our HDI is extremely low, but it is on its way up. I'm really, really happy to see that it is on its way up. We are now higher than Brazil, as we can see. If I can actually look, so we we're actually just a tad bit higher but we've actually gone down compared to the rest of the world. Um, us, in comparison, we are actually higher than China, so that's good. Um, we're going to try to get above Ukraine here. Speaking of Ukraine, what is going on in Ukraine? Zoink, Scoob, what's going on? Can you fight the cartel? Not physically, but... Imaginatively. Alright guys, that's enough for this today. We're going to go ahead and sign... I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Can you imagine me going live for like 8 minutes and then just stepping away? Hola amigos. When will Eversim fix the black screen of death for AMD users? What's going on with AMD users? Are we talking about CPU or, or GPU? Perspective analysis, coupled with the Brown model. Group psychotectonics. Eversim hardly fixes anything. What do you mean? They fix everything. They're, 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 they're amazing at fixing things. We're going to lower some tariffs on the United States because the ultimate goal right now is also to sign a free trade agreement with the United States. If you were to get that, then that would be beneficial for our economy. Has inflation very low, actually. It's on its way down 3.6%. 3.7%, actually. It's actually low enough to where we increased or decreased the interest rate to 1%. All services. Okay, let's try the services with the United States. Industry. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna increase those tariffs again. Oh never mind. Kind of like stuck at 46. What about what if we do this actually? Year of culture dedicated to a country. Oh yeah, like that's actually how we do it to get the uh, boost that we need. Let's look 
United States. Confirm. Do a cultural festival. You have a lot to choose from, my boy. Hell yeah, let's go. Free trade. Go over here and pick Global Economic Treaty. And then we should be able to get a boost off of growth for that. The day Everson fixes something, that's the day they would charge 80 pounds instead of 40 pounds. Gotta always love hearing y'all like talk about like how trash this game is. a lot of potential in my economy that we have not tapped into helicopters household appliances let's actually go ahead and give them some subsidies so let's give them I thought it was a lawnmower I thought it was a helicopter I don't know if that's a helicopter or if that's a lawnmower man Biotechnology, bauxite. Let's actually ask the Brazilian. No, not the Brazilians. Who do who 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 should we ask for bauxite from? Take over a country, singular. Oh uh, yeah, so let's go after the United States. Let's annex uh, Texas, New Mexico, California, Arizona. Let's take him back. Zimmerman note, except it's like a hundred years later. UK is hundred percent the hardest. How so? Why? Because they're, like, politically unstable? Game works when you don't force crazy change too fast. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, like, take... I take things very slowly. I don't... Yes! Thank you so much, USA. Thank you so much. I love you. Like, uh, that's why I don't, like, push through change, like, as fast as some people do. Because, basically, they... It's it's not that forgiving. <clears throat> because that's whenever you kind of run into the issues of like, oh my god, like I'm literally going to die. From like inflation or anything like that. Take over one of the Central American countries. Let's ask for a non-aggression pact with the United States. <clears throat> Yeah, I was thinking about it. I don't know if I should go for El Salvador or Guatemala. <clears throat> Maybe we unify uh, Central America and Mexico. Stop the illegal immigration issue once and for all. Which is also kind of funny how El Salvador has $28 billion in her GDP. In Guatemala, only well, Guatemala has eighty-seven billion, and then Nicaragua has fifteen billion. You know how underdeveloped Nicaragua is. El Salvador, since they don't like you, yeah, I'll just make them a puppet. I wouldn't annex them. I actually got rid of a conscription as well. So we only have 87,000 reservists. Which I, and I asked them, and I asked them this, I said like, hey, you guys really need to give us an option to increase our reserves because it's, there's literally no way. Because if we can increase our reserves, then that will give us a lot of like power whenever we need to call them up instead of calling upon the general populace.
So let's look at our growth rate now. Boom. 3.46%. It's on its way up. Oh, what scene? Debt's paid for then. Let's go. I also really want to reduce crime. And one of the first options that one of the first things that we actually did the moment we got in here. My God. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on with crime? Well, good thing road accidents are down. Crime rates is literally up 10 points. <clears throat> Goon attacks. Hang on. Mexico, so we were number nine. And now we're number three. Whoa, my God. What's going on in Mexico, man? All right, let's hire like 200,000. Police officers. Let's see what that reaction is. Oh, of course it saves it. Size of Russia's police force would help. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What Russia has like a million police officers. <clears throat> Guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Public safety. That's also why, because public safety is just not funded whatsoever. I took all the guns away in Africa, and this eliminated attacks and helped beat down crime. Once I made them legal again, crime was up, by the way. Was up, but way down could be that. So I just banned guns, get rid of the gun tax, and then legalize guns again? Guns again? Let's also fund local district police. Legislation established, level of ID checks, surveillance cameras. Internet censorship, selective, prostitution legal and regulated, speed limits. Is that in kilometers per hour or in miles per hour? Kilometers per hour. It took me a minute to figure that out, but once I kind of figured out everything about like the me metric system and everything like that, like, yeah, it was definitely, I was able to figure all of that out. You know, fun fact, it's actually in a, so there's a city in Mexico called Guadalajara, and that's actually how I always said it, and it's actually not Guadalajara, it's Guadalajara. Right over here, you ever heard of Guadalajara?
And another heat wave in me oh, never mind. That was from a previous heat wave. Coupled with brown model, a group of psychotectonics have given us the opportunity and force to deploy the scarce funds we have to ensure your daily security. I'm gonna get shot by the I don't know why police are so ineffective against the rioters now. It's like something got changed and I don't know what it is because look, you see how like they're just kind of picking off against them? Mexico City population is crazy, let me look. There's a picture of it. Oh my God, 10 million people. And, wow, that is crazy, yeah. United States. I have a free trading agreement with the European Union. Interesting. Who else should I sign one with? Um, who else, who else, who else, who else? Maybe with... I would do Canada. I would do the United Kingdom, but apparently the United Kingdom just does not like me. Mostly militarily. Well, let's try this. Free trade agreement. Boom. Reciprocal. So we can kind of like reduce the tariffs. We don't have to reduce them by that much of 50%. Canada. Yeah, let's check our relations with them. See, negative 12. I have to like literally jump through like 20 different hoops to try to get the Canadians to accept the free trade agreement with us. Even though we are a part of NAFTA, but they don't really act these... Uh, the the economic organizations don't necessarily tend to act like like free trade organizations, free trade agreements. Because I can just sign. It's like I, I don't I don't know the difference between an economic is a free trade area that promotes development of trade between the member countries. Cons customs duties are eliminated in this area. Mar embargoes are of course prohibited. Japan and Spain, let's look. So Japan, again, would be an option, yes. They do not like me right now. Spain, España, España, of course Spain, is a part of the European Union, therefore that is not an option. I already have a free trade agreement with the European Union, so that would therefore require that the spanish leave the free the uh the the european union and so therefore they are not an option i could do south africa actually yeah let's um let's ask them for one for south africans ah, hell i could even do india burma i'm not gonna do because i don't support the government what about countries in Africa? They're uh, man, they're not really that big compared to ours, and I don't think they'd be able to accept it. Maybe Nigeria. Yeah, let's try Nigeria. We're just starting off with reciprocal agreements. We're not going to... It would not be that beneficial to us to sign with, like, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, for example. We have obtained some information. Oh, 
Australia absolutely hates me. They are they they are not happy with me for some reason. In Russia, I already have financial sanctions against them. Oh, speaking of um, Finland, 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 Finland has actually finally has finally um, been, they have not been accepted into NATO, but Hungary has finally accepted Finland's application and ratified Finland's application for NATO. So let's actually look. Finland and Sweden, Ascension. <laughs> Boo, boo, boo. Ratification status. Do Sweden approves NATO entry. Sweden's parliament voted Wednesday in favor of joining NATO despite delays by Hungary and Turkey to ratify its membership bid. Finland debates NATO ratification that may leave Sweden behind. Finnish parliamentary group said on Friday they may ratify NATO's founding treaties in the coming weeks, a key step that could lead the country to proceed with membership of the, military, the Western Military Alliance ahead of neighboring Sweden. New two Nordic countries sought and made a NATO membership shortly after, but most member states have ratified the applications. Turkey. But while most member states have ratified the applications, Turkey objects to Sweden's candidacy. Facing an April election, most political parties in Sweden have said they want Parliament to vote on the treaties before its March 3rd recess, and Foreign Affairs Committee on Friday debated required debated required legislation behind closed doors. Consensus is forming, and I believe that there will be an agreement. Legislation must be submitted by February 20th at the latest if Parliament is to vote before the election. Finland... I think I remember this election. I think I remember whenever... No, 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 no. It will be held on April 2nd. Let me see if I am actually off that day. I could actually cover that election on the channel. So that is April 2nd. Maybe. Now I don't think I'll be able to do it. Are you going to cover the US elections? When? What, ele what US elections? What happened to him? I'm right here. Contract rejected. Damn it. I was reading my um, 
my work schedule. I don't know if it's accurate or not, so I'll have to see it tomorrow. Okay, so Nigeria accepted our free trade agreement and South Africa accepted our free trade agreement. So that's awesome. Ouch. Nigeria, 34 billion and South Africa, 29 billion. The upcoming ones, are you talking about the ones in 2024? Ah, uh, yes, Israel hates us. I wonder why. They just said there's a sh something in Nashville with a 28-year-old woman. I heard it was a I heard it was a middle schooler. It was like a younger younger person. Hang on. Shooter who was identified. Oh my god! It was a, it was it's why would a twenty eight what? Twenty-eight-year-old Nashville woman. She's still not been identified by name. Police have not shared a possible motive for shooting or identified a connection between a woman and a school. Why would someone do that? Like, usually you hear about it being like middle schoolers or high schoolers or something like that. I mean, even the Sandy Hook one, I think that was a, it was a guy who like, I mean, he was actually pretty old. I think he was like 20, somewhere in his like early 20s or something like that. Could be, a could be a teacher, but like. He was 20 years old, the one in Sandy Hook. Adam Lanza. I'm gonna continue to look at that because that's it's pretty interesting. Not not interesting. I'm not gonna say it like that. That's you just have you just you just don't hear about that stuff. You don't hear about it being a woman, and you don't hear about it being a what nearly thirty year old woman. Like there's a couple of things that are odd about this. Plays a real president. Don't attack. Build roads. Modernize. Plays a real president. Don't attack. Build roads. Modernize roads. Yeah. That's exactly how I play it, like, like, people always want me to go to war, and honestly, like, I just want to develop. I want to make the country better, especially Mexico.
see what my growth is right now. Utility vehicle construction. Let's actually try to sign a contract with the United States over that. Sale. What the hell is this? All right. Utility vehicle construction. Whoa. My God. Seniors in danger. Ooh. See how the uh, crime wave is doing now. All right, we topped it. Let's see if I can hire a million police officers. So that's going to be three and a half billion dollars. See what the reaction is of that. People actually like that. 166,000. Let's pop it at 175. We are going to call this Do you have mafia if you have if you have request police action? What do you wait what? Tijuana agreements. Could we add a clause? Or uh, I think I think 154 billion dollars is enough for me. Damn it. It's $150 billion. That'll be substantial growth. Then we can increase the industrial pollution tax and then we can Since when did we sign a 40-year agreement? <laughs> I don't think that's five years. 2052. All right. I don't think that's accurate, but we'll go with it. Okay, let's see the uh, detailed assessment of the agreement. Price, we'll set a, we'll let us sell at a much better price than usual, guaranteeing us substantial profits. Volume contract guarantees the sale of a large portion of our production. It's quite sizable and will justly, will considerably strengthen our economy. Manufacturing this product is profitable, so exporting it will be beneficial to our economy. And this will have a moderate impact on uh, unemployment. And then the, yeah, it still says 2052. <clears throat> yeah, 40 year agreement, like, what? Okay, let's see immediately what that does to growth. So it'll probably kick it up to 10% and then I can increase the uh, industrial pollution tax. You have a Montenegrin wanting me to make Montenegro a world power. All right, first things first, we're gonna take over Serbia. We're gonna unify Kosovo. We're gonna unify. Uh, bleh. We're gonna unify all of Yugoslavia under the Montenegrin flag. And one thing I hate about Montenegro is that the flag is literally like nothing. It literally looks like it's out of Rulers of Nations. How is inflation doing? Um, actually, preemptively. Thank you for reminding me. We are going to increase the interest rate 
And there is the growth that we just got. Yep, 16%. So growth is going to be on its way up. Immediately, we're going to be taking some actions to combat this. We're going to be <clears throat> increasing the industrial pollution tax as much as we can. As fast as we can. Are there any mods that let you play as Pennsylvania? You can get the modding tool and make it Pennsylvania independent and, and go from there. <clears throat> Let's see what that did to the... to the... Uh, that industry. Utility vehicle construction. You know, it's kind of funny how Mexico's biggest industry is literally about utilities. Wow, look at that trade balance. Positive 158 billion. I will take suggestions. You just have to pay me $20 in my, in my super chats. Are you going to play Supreme Early 2030 when it comes out? Hopefully they maybe, maybe they reach out to me, but if not, then I'll go ahead and reach out to them. Not even one sweet. See what my gross national happiness is. Stands at one percent. Really? Of course we go through it. Well, let me kinda kinda help around with the with the excess growth that we just got. And look at that. We were so we we're on our way down and then now it's on its way up. Let's actually go back and look. Crime is still on its way up. Oh, and Colombia just collapsed again. Oh, nope, South America is just collapsing on itself. Can you imagine trying to deal with all of these riots at the same time? What I want to know is what did they do to, 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 to have this happen? Because I see this happen all the time where Colombia just collapses into riots. And like, this is like, this happens almost in every stream. I swear to God, this happens in almost every stream where 
where like Columbia just just falls apart. India. <laughs> really? Maybe it's your chance now to take up take up South America. I will do a, a conquest stream one day. I will, I promise. Just not as Russia. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can do, like, China and go after, like, Korea or Taiwan or something like that. I need to do it before China invades Taiwan, because then what after that... Politics gaming denazifying South America coming soon. Uh-oh. Bro, like, what is going on? What is what is happening? We lost 5.45 billion dollars to our GDP. So in response to that, we are actually going to do citizen awareness and 3.62. Let's go ahead and start off with this one first. Let's also check on my nuclear power plant. So I got a hundred days before that is done. So amnesty just came into effect. Let's go over to justice. The decree takes effect as of today. And so 92.4% prison occupancy rate. So good, 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 good. Crime is on its way down. Good. We are now number six in the world. Our latest report shows a decrease in population density in your penitentiaries, which will prove, improve the day-to-day -day conditions and treatment of inmates. Your country is still below the expected minimum whenever it comes to respect of human rights, but it's moving in the right direction. Keep it up. Oh, speaking of China, there's actually a big story that actually came out of, of um, the meeting between Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping so essentially a lot of people were just like like China don't give them weapons don't give them weapons don't give them weapons 
And maybe there's like a secret, like under the table meeting where they basically said like, yeah, we're giving them weapons. Haven't really announced it. So we don't know yet. But what happened is that the yuan, the yuan, um, the Chinese currency, otherwise known as the renminbi, essentially what happened is that Russia is now adopting the renminbi or yuan as that they will be doing transactions in the renminbi. So this is a Washington Post article. Most interesting outcome of the three-day meeting between Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping got a limited media attention. Describing their talks, we're in favor of using the Chinese yuan for settlements between Russia and countries of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. So the world's second largest economy and its largest energy exporter are now trying are, are actively trying to dent the dollar's dominance as the anchor of the world international financial system. Will they succeed? The dollar is America's superpower. It gives Washington unrivaled economic and political muscle. The United States can slap sanctions on countries unilaterally, freezing them out of large parts of the world economy. And when Washington spends freely, it can be certain that its debt, usually in the form of T-bills, will be bought, bought up by the rest of the world. Sanctions imposed by on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine combined with Washington's increasing conf increasingly confrontational approach to China have created a perfect storm in which both China and Russia are accelerating efforts to diversify away from the dollar. Their central banks are keeping less of their reserves in dollars and most trade between them is now being settled in yuan. They are also, as Putin noted, making efforts to get other countries to follow suit. The Biden administration has handled the economic war against Russia extremely effectively by building a coalition in support of Ukraine that would include all, almost all of the world's advanced economies. That makes it hard to escape from the dollar into other highly valued stable currencies such as the euro or the pound or the Canadian dollar because the countries are also countering Russia. What might have been a sharper turning point for the dollar's role was President Donald Trump's decision in May 2018 to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal and impose sanctions. The European Union strenuously opposed to this move, watched as the dollar's dominance meant that Iran was immediately excluded from much, much of the world economy, including its trading partners in Europe. Do, do, do. Um, Jean-Claude Juncker, then the president of the European Commission, proposed enhancing the Euro's role internationally to shield the continent from selfish unilateralism. The Commission outlined a path to achieve this goal. That hasn't happened. There remain too many fundamental doubts about the future of the Euro itself. Dollar dominance is firmly entrenched for many good reasons. The globalized economy needs a single currency for ease and efficiency. The dollar is stable. You can buy and sell at any time. And it is governed largely by the market and not at the government's whims. That is why China's efforts to expand the yuan's inter role internationally have not worked. Ironically, if Xi wanted to cause the, great, the greatest pain to the United States, he would liberalize his financial sector and make the yuan a true competitor to the dollar. But that would mean to take him in a direction of markets and openness that are opposite of his own domestic goals. So, honestly, what I'm, th what I'm thinking off of that is that, and I'll continue to read the article in a second, but essentially what I'm what I think it is, it's like they it's it's two dictatorships meeting up with each other and saying, Yeah, hey, Russia, we're gonna start we're gonna start like using the yuan to to pay these other countries for oil or whatever, or like whenever we're buying from the Chinese, we're gonna just gonna use the yuan uh, to make sure that we can pay them or whatever. So there's just means that they're not using the dollar. Therefore, the dollar could become a little bit weaker because certain countries are not using it. However, let's say that Russia, let's obviously Russia is going to start doing it. Let's say Iran starts doing it. Let's say even Saudi Arabia starts doing it. The biggest thing about that is that we still have a plethora of countries that use the dollar as a international currency we have mexico we have south america we have a lot of countries in africa that are starting to use it however the some countries in africa i do believe are considering the yuan but haven't really announced that we obviously have the european union and europe that are using it we have asia that is using it australia there is still a massive coalition of countries that use and will continue to use 
the dollar as a international currency. So unless we start to lose a lot of support in Africa, in South America, um, and everything like that, like just like it said, like the biggest way to really actually get the yuan to compete against the dollar is that if China were to open up its economy entirely like the United States does, that's not going to happen. That will never happen, especially under the Chinese Communist Party. So to say that, like, yeah, this is this is partially concerning because it is an active effort and essentially an axis between Russia and China are the two biggest military powers in the world against the United States that are now actively seeking economic conflict with the United States, even though, again, we had the trade war in 2018. And then, so this is just another part of the trade war, the economic war between the United States and China. But especially over the next couple of years, this isn't going to be a this is not going to be a a big like uh, it's not going to throw the dollar over over it. But I'm not an economist. I'm not going to I'm not going to like make that analysis yet until I've done more research. This is just kind of like preliminary, like reading a couple of articles kind of research. And then people are saying like, like this means that like Saudi Arabia is going to start using the yuan and everything like that. And that means that Saudi Arabia and Iran are going to be a part of China's sphere of influence. Saudi Arabia will never leave U.S. U.S. protection. The, 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 the Saudis get way too much money off of the United States. And even though they could still sell a lot more oil over to the Chinese, the Chinese currency, number one. And, and that's the other thing about that, about like saying oh, well, you know, this is a big thing and everything like that. I think people are hyping it up way too much because it's too, it's Russia and China finally formalizing their alliance and saying, we are partners forever. We are going to change up and shake up the world order. The Chinese currency is way too weak in order to compete against the U.S. dollar. And again, they need to reach out. They need to get India to be on board with this. They need to get Japan to be on board with this. They need to get Australia. They need to get all of Asia to get on board with this. And even like Burma, Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Singapore, they're not using the Chinese yuan as that currency because they already have their own digital type of currency. I saw an article about this. I need to go back and look for it. But the Chinese currency is too unstable and it's too weak in order to compete effectively against the U.S. dollar. Yeah, the yuan could sh could strengthen because yeah, they're 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 getting a shit ton of money of oil money off of the Russians, but even then, it's still too weak. So at that point, no, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about the Chinese trying to overtop the US dollar because that's not going to happen. That's not, that's just not going to happen. That's just a lot of people saying like, like going like, Oh my God, China, China is like an alliance. And like, they're just basically just trying to shill against the United States because they're like, Oh my God, Biden is a big, stupid dummy head and like blah, 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 blah. That's what really pisses me off about a lot of people right now is that basically they're just like, oh, well, Biden's a bumbling idiot. Like he doesn't even know where he is. And I'm just like, OK, do you have any other argument than that? Do you have any other argument than just saying Biden is like like a literal autist that has no idea where he is? Like that's all a lot of people do. And I think this is going to be the first time I'm saying this on my stream <laughs> like, I don't, I don't necessarily like any of the Republican candidates right now. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, and the United States is just the better candidate. Oh my god, look at our relations with Brazil. I mean, he kind of is, yeah, no, like, but he, it's not like he has, like, some, like, puppet behind him who's, like, like, it's not like George Soros is behind him, like, pulling the puppet strings or something like that. Come on. Like, that's just, like, 
the stupidest argument to say and then you're basically saying like oh well you know he's he's he has no idea where he is that's why like supporting ukraine is bad or blah 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 and i'm just like bro like like get a different argument like you're basically like you're you're not basing your argument off of anything except saying that Biden's a literal idiot. And yeah, you can say that you could disagree with him. I'm not saying it's bad to disagree with the guy, but like when your entire argument is literally just about saying like, oh well, you know, he's just a he's just like turns to the left and then sees that there's nothing next to him and then turns to the right and walks away off the stage like i do that shit all the time i'm 24 years old and i do that shit all the time you guys don't know where you are sometimes and then you turn around and you're like where the hell am i like i don't know like it's just it, the, the arguments the arguments that i'm seeing now like it's just it's like it's like people are just running out of arguments and they just don't know what to say anymore and they're just like yeah like he's 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 just he's just he's just an idiot and 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 then they talk about like how china's like so bad and everything and i saw like elijah schaefer i think elijah schaefer um who who is this guy Elijah Schaefer is. Do, do, do. What is he? Slightly offensive. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he's the he's the host of Slightly Offensive. <laughs> and the biggest thing about about what this post from Elijah Schaefer is basically he's like he like China is decades of ahead of the United States and basically it's literally just a, a video of of like these LED lights on a bunch of buildings in China they will literally simp and they will literally simp for are actual enemies just because they don't like Biden or they don't like the guy that's in power. And that's what I think is so stupid is that people will literally th say and support our enemies because they don't like the guy that's in power. And in a time in which, like, we are in a new Cold War and we need to be backing each other and backing this country and backing the West as much as we can, whenever we need to be competing against our enemies in this Cold War, we need to stop that shit. It's cop time. DeSantis or nothing, I'm gonna be totally honest. If DeSantis gets the ticket, I'm voting for Biden. I'm not I'm not supporting DeSantis. I'm gonna lo I'm gonna piss off a lot of people by saying that but like this is very bad like shut up Trump 2024 to save the world Trump is Trump is just dumb right now. I don't like him either, and I voted for him twice. Printing too much money, collapsing your entire economy, and then a lot of that happened under Trump.
And that's the other thing. And like, this kind of goes about goes into like the argument that I was having with Gerald that Maple remembers. Like what, what really gets me is that people literally say like, Oh, well, you know, he didn't, he, 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 he was weak in Afghanistan. And I'm just like, do you, do you, you do realize that Trump is the one that negotiated the Doha agreement and actually considered and con that, directly led to the collapse of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, right? I thought you loved DeSantis. No, God, no. And the biggest thing about DeSantis right now, he is he he broke my deal breaker. I will support anyone that will continue to do what we are doing for Ukraine. And DeSantis called it a fucking territorial dispute. That's what he called this war in Ukraine right now. He called it a territorial dispute. And that's the other thing that goddamn gets me about a bunch of people on the right right now. Is that basically, they literally actually think that it's okay for Russia to be, to, 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 to be going after these lands because they're ethnically Russian. And they post the map. They literally just post the map of Eastern Ukraine, of the Donbass, of Zaporizhia, of Kherson, and they say, look at all these ethnic Russians that are on this border with Russia. So that means that they can have all these lands because they're ethnically Russian and that they should have the lands because they're ethnically Russian. And then I turn around and I'm just like, okay, so if that's the case, since all of these lands, the Mexican session, that Mexico had to cede to us after the Mexican-American War? Should we just give that back to them? Because that was ethnic, that because there's still a massive amount of Mexicans that live in this area? In this area right here? Shouldn't we just give it back? Because it's ethnically Mexican, and it used to belong to them about 200 and 100, 250 years ago. Not 250, it's like, uh, like 150. <clears throat> like, come on. Like, wh 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 what, are you, what are you doing? It's, it's a stupid argument. And the fact that DeSantis would call this war a fucking territorial dispute is the biggest insult. So no, I do not like DeSantis because he wants to say that the entire war in Ukraine is just over territory whenever it's going along the exact same lines. I like how there's simultaneous protests in Moldova and Romania. Whenever the way the war started is because it's going along the exact same motives that fucking Hitler made the exact same reasons that Hitler made in order to annex the Sudetenland. And Danzig. Like, it's stupid. And the fact people will literally say, yeah, that's okay, that is just dumb. Yeah, and that's the other thing that goddamn gets me about that. Is people say, like, and, and I even had a conversation about this with my grandfather. Bro, bro, come on, dude. Come on. Nah, bro, you're getting... Thanks for pointing out your channel. Now I can ban you. Ha ha ha, so funny. I'm so funny. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, so funny, man. Yo, I'm five. I'm I'm 19 years old, and I'm doing this on the internet because it's funny. Ha ha ha! I'm so laughing so much, guys. 
See, instead of having an actual argument, he just he just he just doesn't even know what to say, so he just starts saying the N-word. Bro literally simps for Russia, so you can go ahead and get like hidden on my channel. So you can no longer comment. Good luck. You come in here with another channel, and then I'll be able to oh, 22, okay, okay. Excessive deforestation is not conductive. I have not been paying attention to the environment at all. Um, CO2 by air filtration. Let's do 5,000. I have 366,000 available manpower. Wow, look at that. We were at 64% total debt to GDP ratio, and we're now at 57. Structural deficit negative 1.47, so we are now actively paying our debts. Next quarterly surplus is $180 million. Let me actually continue to read this article. We got a, is that a Greek? Is it Greek or is that Ukrainian or Russian? Says, so this is continuing on to the article about Russia and China. All that said, Washington's weaponizing of the dollar over the past decade has led many important countries to search for ways to make sure they do not become the next Russia. The share of dollars in global central bank reserves have dropped from roughly 70% 20 years ago to less than 60% today and falling steadily. <clears throat> the Europeans and Chinese are trying to build international payment systems outside of the dollar-dominated SWIFT system. Saudi Arabia has flirted with the idea of pricing its oil in yuan. India is settling most of its oil purchases from Russia in non-dollar currencies and digital currencies, which are being explored by most nations, might be another alternative. In fact, China's central bank has created one. All of those alternatives add costs, but the past few years should have taught us that nations are increasingly willing to pay the price for achieving political goals. We keep searching for the single placement replacement for the dollar, and there will not be one. But the most currencies, <clears throat> but could the currency suffer weakness by a thousand cuts? That seems more. That seems a more likely scenario. Um, <clears throat> author and investor Richard Sharma points out right now for the first time in my memory we could have an international financial crisis in which the dollar has been weakening rather than strengthening I wonder if this is a sign that things come if it is Americans should worry I, I wrote last week about bad geopolitical habits Washington has developed because of its unrivaled unipolar status that, out <clears throat> that out attitude is even more true economically America's politicians have gotten used to spending seemingly to spending seemingly without any concerns about deficits. Public debt has risen about almost fivefold from roughly 6.5 trillion 20 years ago to 31.5 trillion today. The Fed has solved a f series of financial crashes by massively expanding its balance sheet 12-fold from about 730 billion dollars 20 years ago to about 8.7 trillion dollars today. All of this works. All of this only works because of the dollar's unique status. If that wanes, America will be face a reckoning like none before. <clears throat> Unemployment just went up to 5%, what? Okay, that's good. About like three to five percent is always really healthy.
Oh my god. So 5%, that should mean, yeah, we are increasing our manpower to our police forces. Oh my god, look at that in sharp increase in inflation. What's my growth at? 9.58%. Yeah, we need to. We need to go up. Try to get that to like 5% at most. Feast of the Vir- Whoa. What the hell is the Feast of the Virgin? I don't like that name. I'm actually kind of curious about that. Feast of the Virgin Guadalupe. <clears throat> Marian Feast Days. Celebrated in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A number of Marian feasts celebrated their names among Christian denominations and among the Catholic Church. That is December 8th. The some Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary. Sports events are actually really cool to watch in um <clears throat> in World Warfare and Economics. News about Power and Revolution 2023. Um, no, I check my email about every morning. And I never see anything about it. So unfortunately right now, I do not have any, any updates to... I do not have any updates to the uh, um, 2023 dash.
I'm going to go to the end of the year and see what the changes are. Subliminal messages and mass media is really even a conspiracy. I know, I think about that too, and I'm just like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? I need to strengthen my military up to like 300,000. I'll actually ask for another 100,000. Let's see what the reaction is. Cause actually, I think like my goal for the Mexican army is going to be five hundred thousand. But three hundred fifty thousand is like a short term goal. Maybe like seven hundred thousand as a long term goal. Anti missile battery will actually start developing these. Chemicals. I actually make a lot. Seven billion. Any wars? Maybe. If anything, we could, like, if there's, like, a really bad government, maybe, like, a ultra right wing government or something like that that comes into power. But that's the thing about Mexico is that Mexico has always been kind of like a pacifist country. They've never been that much of an interventionist country. Always kind of, but they've always kind of been like keeping to themselves because they're mostly forced to keep to themselves because they're so unstable because of historical events and everything like that. So it's, it's always kind of been a, um, Ah. Okay, that's going to have to change. Sports. Football, soccer. Really? We fund them a lot. What else do we need? So, esports. MMA. How's the water? So, ooh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Shooting. Let's come down. Athletics. We'll do like a hundred million dollars into into sports. Do 150 million then. Okay, 200 million.
can imagine playing as Germany coming over to sports. Oh my god, I have a good Eversim quality content idea. It's gonna be National Move Movement, fully fund it, and then it's gonna go to holiday camps, fully fund it. And then it's just gonna be Erdika playing in the background. It's got Auf der Heiden, Blut ein kleines Blumelein. It's just, and it's just me just investing in the sports. I also do have a, um, another good uh, Everson quality content idea. So there's actually, you'll probably see one like right after I'm done with this stream. Okay, so it's the end of the year. It is, I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. So I think I'm going to call it here. So we're going to go and watch Growth Reset. Uh oh. We have strong suspicions of my ass. Ordered explosive, okay. Also, couldn't hurt to buy like a handful of spy satellites so we can see like what the Americans are doing and what the what the Central Americans are doing. Thirty-five billion dollars. Let's freaking go. Economy grew at fifteen point five one five percent. Inflation and growth has now reset at eight point eight six percent. Trade balance is up one seven hundred and forty four billion. So look at that. So, um, so exports. Let's go ahead and analyze some of this. So GDP one point four trillion dollars. GDP's world share is up to one point four one percent, up from one point three five percent. Exports is one point one trillion dollars, up from nine hundred seventy four billion dollars. Imports are down about two billion dollars. So that's actually pretty good that we are importing less and exporting more. And trade balance, as of right now, is up about nearly $200 billion, so about $150 billion as of now. Shame. Okay, okay, okay. And he has been arrested. Let's see. So I have $35 billion to pay off. So we can actually lower the interests, interest uh, on our debts to ourselves. Could also... So we can't really pay off anyone right now with $35 billion. So we could, number one, invest it back into our economy by buying another nuclear power plant. So it'd be financed by the Treasury of 14... Oh, yeah, we could finance the entire thing. So if I wanted to fully fund it, we do $8.5 billion. That's inaccurate. Okay, so actually, here's a bug. I'll actually take a screenshot of that and send it to Eversim. So we actually see that, um, so it says portion is financed by the treasury, $35.2 billion. But then it should say like an accurate number where basically it's saying like, this is the rest of the financing by the, by the, um, um, after 
it's being financed by the Treasury Reserve. And then so right now it says $178 million, but then the cost over five years of this project would be $36 billion. So of $178 million over five years, how is that translating $36 billion? That's, yeah, that is inaccurate right there. So I could actually, $14 billion, that'd leave us about another $15 billion to play with. Or I could get it done in six months. Go ahead and do that. So it'll be done in 180 days. Frustrated an attack on a karaoke bar. I always like this one. In fact, the bomber is participating in karaoke, thus delaying the schedule for triggering the explosive device. He was just like, country roads, take me home. And then like the police raid the establishment. We're going to go ahead and save this right here, and we are going to call the stream it for today. You know, I got a new world map, and I'm kind of pissed because... Um, kind of, I just totally had something and I got distracted. <laughs> um, yeah, I totally forgot what that, what I was going to sign off with. That's really funny. Got really distracted there. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. So guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, if you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything whenever I do make it. And, uh, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me today.